சார் சார் ஐ கேம் டு நோ தட் பேனிபத் பேட்டில்ஸ் ஆர் ஒன் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டண்ட் ஈவெண்ட்ஸ் இன் தி ஹிஸ்ட்ரி சார் கேன் யூ எக்ஸ்பிளைன் வாட் ஹேப்பன் ஆஃப்டர் தி தேர்ட் பேனிபத் பேட்டில் சார் அண்டு ஒய் சார் மராத்தாஸ் ஃபெயில் டு எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் த லாஸ்டிங் எம்பயர் ஆஃப்டர் தட் பேட்டில் Let me make it very simple. Yeah, 1761 third Panipat battle. Why it was disastrous for Marathas and why Marathas failed to establish a lasting empire. Now, what you asked me is 1761 third Panipat battle. It was disastrous for Marathas or uh, most importantly what were the consequences of 1761 so 1761 third panipat battle the consequences of course a shift in the power dynamics to create a political vacuum indian powers defeated and uh, literally there is no such a great uh, rival power provided an opportunity for british east india company to establish in the north so a shift in the power dynamics it had a far reaching socio economic political cultural impact socio economic political cultural impact first important thing is of course yeah this created a political vacuum that provided british east india company to yes mark their political entry in north india okay so created a political vacuum because indian powers were defeated already mughals declined now the strong marathas also defeated and uh, ahmed shah abdali retained so it's a political vacuum it created a political vacuum then it affected this military morale of the maratha soldiers or the military weaknesses of the marathas being exposed here so the military morale was uh, deteriorated that is another feature it's something which is exposing the internal security weaknesses of indian power or maybe the defense caliber is weakened then there is no hindu empire anymore shivaji the great yeah like uh, he conceived that idea of building a great hindu empire that ended forever with the very fail of this maratha confederacy then peshwa ship weakened the peshwa rule you know that maratha confederacy had to was peshwa peshwa rule is weakened and finally peshwa ship is abolished by that koragon battle 1818 now mughals that is in the third anglo maratha war then mughals no more mughals no more in the picture in the political picture they already declined okay and also it provided an opportunity for the british rise so these are some points which you have to bring into your answer if the question is about the far reaching implications of yes this uh, a uh, third panipat battle 1761 and detailed analysis done in our session now again you asked me which is about uh, why marathas couldn't uh, uh, yeah or why they failed to establish a lasting empire on indian soil many reasons are there first important thing is of course that mutual distrust mutual distrust is one of the major reason among the maratha chiefs maratha confederates maratha sardars yeah they were always envious jealous about each other and the mutual conflicts and mutual distrust one reason second is of course that uh, uh, that outdated guerrilla warfare tactics when shivaji the great he recruited a huge army trained a army and he mostly fought his wars in the western ghats in the hilly terrains where the guerrilla warfare tactics is important but after that when it comes to later stages he yes, is so fighting with this guerrilla warfare tactics it was quite Uh, illogical especially in this uh, plain terrains of the northern india okay so that outdated methods this guerrilla warfare methods then there is uh, only income for the state a financial crisis is also a reason here you should understand so chaud and sadesh mughi these are the major two taxes collected by maratha state but this maratha state was mostly in this hilly regions you know that is not suitable for agriculture trade industries etc so the problem is like uh, there is a financial crisis fiscal deficit and there is no fixed and permanent huge source of income that is another reason for its uh, decline then 1761 panipat proven to be disastrous for maratha prestige and there is no national economic sense 
and uh, of course last not least British interference into their political affairs okay which we know that it is in the first uh, second third Anglo Maratha was it is reflected these are the reasons why Marathas could didn't establish a lasting empire on Indian soil but however there were non further principle of secularism Maratha Shivaji the great yes he recruited soldiers from all the sections even these from the Mahar caste also he recruited the soldiers but after Shivaji's death when Peshwa ship came Peshwa's non for or Peshwa's didn't do so there are many racial discriminations then Mahar caste the triple uh, one battalion sided with the British and fought the Korogon battle okay because of the Peshwa's discriminations but Shivaji non for that principle of secularism that equal treatment to all and to people of different caste creed recruited into bureaucracy army etc then women empowerment you could see some great uh, women personalities like Jijabai, Tarabai etc yes uh, they, they, they uh, pioneered this uh, like uh, what is called uh, administration so they are the women pioneers in this women administration uh, sorry in this political administration or in this uh, civil administration some very efficient bureaucrats okay coming to council of ministers another point is there is Ashtapradhan Ashtapradhan concept council of ministers okay Shivachi built a very efficient bureaucratic system a government with the support of this council of ministers each is the head of each department okay then say religious toleration he was known for his religious toleration and because of these factors Maratha prestige or Maratha history is also significant in the Indian history okay so these are the things you have to cover just go for the revision just revise it answer it send it to me get the feedback all the best thank you